welcome back to the channel. It's Peter Day here. And um, if you're new to the channel, I'm the guy to the right in that uh, car photo. And my brother Tyler is the guy on the left. And we are the co-founders of Optimize. Uh, to convert.com, a little bit about ourselves. We have been in affiliate marketing for almost 10 uh, years. I personally started affiliate marketing in uh, college when I was 19 years old. Um, at the time that I'm recording this video, I'm 29. Um, so even though we're young, um, we've both, my brother and I, been in, in the industry almost 10 years. So we have quite a lot of experience and um, a lot of success under our belt as well. We failed for a long time. It took us about um, about three or four years to get really successful in affiliate marketing, but we kept uh, being persistent at it. And we've now done almost $20 million of affiliate um, commission so far in our career and what we're currently doing is really stepping up our game actually um, we're putting plans together to build um, what we're doing in the affiliate space uh, into a business that will be doing over 50 um, million dollars per year in revenue so we're really taking things to the next level we want to become um, a company in that range as soon as possible and then um, the bigger goal after that is to build a company that does over a hundred million dollars a year I mean I put it on the uh, chalkboard in my office last year that we have a goal um, uh, kind of one of our largest goals now as a company is to build something that uh, will eventually be over a 100 million dollar a year company and it's quite possible um, in the affiliate space, if you look at some of the major um, conglomerates in the affiliate space and um, different players and advertisers and major, major media buying agencies that are just doing a lot in the space, it is not unfeasible um, to do a hundred million or a hundred and fifty million. Um, some big players that I've talked to um, in the space have even been doing um, like 400 uh, million a year and at this point we're talking about going even way ab above and beyond just conventional affiliate marketing I mean uh, companies that are doing that much um, in the space usually also own uh, some kind of tools and systems and stuff like that they might even even they might even operate um, the company that I'm referring to that's been doing the 400 million a year I mean they even own um, some of their own uh, email service providers and ESPs and stuff like that they recently bought um, an email um, company from um, they they recently acquired another uh, email provider and stuff. So there's some big potential in this space. But um, what we believe is our path to get there is obviously uh, for us to become like a 100, uh, 200 million dollar company. We're obviously going to have to um, get there, right? Like my brother and I have only been doing about five to ten million dollars a year. Um, in revenue, which has not been bad, it's you know obviously you know much exceeds paying bills, but um, still to go from five to ten uh, million dollars a year to revenue to over a hundred million dollars of revenue is um, going to take something grander. It's going to take probably a more robust um, business model, and it might require things like building our own softwares and infrastructures and systems and um, maybe even doing more um, above and beyond just conventional affiliate marketing. But our how we think we can get there is we think we can build up our conventional affiliate marketing business. Um, we really believe we can build the, the conventional affiliate marketing um, to the point where it's doing at least like 30 to 50 million dollars a year in revenue at least and then from there that would produce a significant amount of cash flow um, to launch something like um, like Russell has over at um, ClickFunnels or a tool or some kind of SaaS um, kind of product or software just something greater that would then propel the business into those um, the the hundred million plus a year range so that's kind of the goal the vision of optimize to convert in this video I am just answering a simple question um, can you do affiliate marketing on um, MailChimp I've been making an effort recently to get a lot of YouTube videos out because there we have a lot of students and students have been asking a lot of questions I mean um, I just checked my email inbox the other day because we're doing a question and answer webinar um, for some of our private coaching students um, next week and I had the students submit um, questions 
and we already have over like 35 questions. This is going to be a probably a couple hour webinar because I only anticipated getting about five or ten questions, but the um, uh, the webinar seems very popular, and we have over 35 uh, questions now on this webinar. Again, this webinar is not available to the general public. It's only available for private coaching students. Um, but we are going to be answering a lot of those questions next week. And some of the questions that I've been answering on this um, public YouTube channel have been an offshoot of the questions that students have been asking privately. So um, one of the questions we have today is, can you do affiliate marketing on MailChimp? And um, the answer is yes and no. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that. It depends on what type of affiliate marketing you're doing. If you talk to MailChimp, they're going to tell you, yeah, you could do affiliate marketing on MailChimp, but then it depends on what type of affiliate marketing you're doing on MailChimp. Like, for example, um, and I'll hop over the MailChimp page here. It doesn't say anything on their site about kind of what they allow or don't allow, but I can tell you they're pretty strict. If you're an affiliate marketer, let's say you're an affiliate marketer that does a lot of sweepstakes or freebies or biz op or something. I don't think you're going to be able to get away with that on MailChimp, to be honest. They don't have a um, section of their website that says, like, you're not allowed to mail freebies or you're not allowed to mail sweepstakes or giveaways. But from our experience, I mean, heck, back in the day when I did BizOp, my brother and I did BizOp, you know, seven or eight years ago. When I did BizOp, I got a MailChimp account. I sent an email and they shut down the entire account like instantaneously. So um, nowhere on their site does it say really what you can or cannot mail. Um, but there's there's some things that are just not going to fly on MailChimp. Um, if you're trying to promote as an affiliate, BizOp, Sweepstakes, Freebies, Nutra, um, anything kind of like controversial, um, and if you're trying to do also more of like a pure play affiliate model, uh, MailChimp might not like it. Like if you have, let's say you have a newsletter in like the subprime vertical and all you're looking to do is send an, send an email or two a day with a different affiliate offer every single time, like more of like a pure play affiliate uh, model, MailChimp from my experience has not liked that and has shut that down. So um, when you're working with these ESPs, you kind of have to understand which ones are stricter and which ones are a little bit more lenient. And this actually brings me to one of my other videos because I do this um, really good review. So check out our channel. Um, first of all, let me give you a little bit of instructions here because you're going to want to subscribe to the channel. See how there's this subscribe button, this this big red button there? It's also below this video. When you subscribe to the channel, it allows you to get alerted of the new videos as soon as they post, and that's going to be um, a great tool for you, uh, free learning and stuff. So make sure when this video is finished, just hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and leave some comments, of course, too. But subscribe because it's going to um, alert you. But now that we're kind of on this topic of these ESPs, I want to go back to one of these older videos. So after watching this video, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump over to um, this video right here. A Weber versus Get Response. Do you see this video here? Um, this one. A Weber versus Get Response. Watch this video. After you finish watching the one you're watching right now, go watch this one, A Weber versus Get Response, because it goes into more detail. It talks about, it actually um, shares with you like which email providers are more strict and less strict for affiliate marketing. And we cover um, a lot more providers in that video. Um, and you'll see in that video, it's not just about A Weber and Get Response. If you go about 10 minutes into that video, we talk about. Um, uh, two or three additional providers as well that are even more lenient towards affiliate marketing. So the question of this video um, basically is MailChimp good for um, affiliate marketing and stuff like that is that the answer is is really depends on what you're doing. I have a buddy who has a great MailChimp list in the car vertical and it's, it's really 
above board and um, what he's doing is he's basically selling his own product but once in a while he hits the list with something related um, to cars um, so it's he basically has an e-commerce product in in the car vertical right so it's it's the the majority of the emails that he's sending is um, like e-commerce uh, stuff like that but then once in a while he's been sending an affiliate offer to the car list like he's been sending car insurance affiliate offers and car warranty and car loan affiliate offers to the list and hey he's been on MailChimp for like three years super successful um, on MailChimp the list is big. I think he has like 500,000 leads or something on the list. And MailChimp has not shut it down because he's doing like a great mixture of selling his e-commerce stuff and mixing in some affiliate offers. But from my experience, if you want to do more of a pure play affiliate model where you're just collecting leads on a newsletter and you want to hit them with a different affiliate offer every single day, from my experience, MailChimp has not liked that. You're better off doing uh, maybe one of the other ESPs that I mention in the AWeber versus GetResponse um, video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up this video um, because the, the answer is it really depends on what you're doing with MailChimp. If you're doing something like an e-commerce, if you're doing something like where you're selling your own product, if you're doing something where it's more like content driven or content arbitrage, um, MailChimp could work for you. But if you're trying to do a pure play affiliate CPA type of, of um, offer thing where you're just generating a list and every single day you want to be hitting a different offer, a different affiliate offer, you may get shut down on MailChimp for doing that. I've seen a lot of people get shut down for doing that. And in fact, MailChimp even shut me down when I was doing that, not because there was anything wrong or illegal about it. It's because MailChimp hasn't liked that type of affiliate um, marketing. There's other ESPs that like that kind of affiliate marketing um, a lot better. And there's some ESPs that are actually embracing and welcoming to that type of affiliate marketing. And that's what I cover in the AWeber versus GetResponse um, video. So subscribe to this channel. Watch the AWeber vs. GetResponse video. I want to give you a few more free uh, resources. If you go to our blog, OptimizeToConvert.com, if you click this button, join our free community, and you put in your email, what's going to happen is, I'm just writing your email here. If you subscribe to our blog, OptimizeToConvert.com, you're going to get on our email list. And when you're on our email list, we don't spam you. We send you um, training. And we have an autoresponder where we send you about five to 10 days of free training. And then when you're on the email list, you also get alerted of new um, training and announcements and stuff like that. So the email list is really valuable. And um, we have over 8,000 uh, followers on the email list for now. But you know what? Our following has been growing really fast. I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the year we have over um, 20 or even 30,000 um uh, subscribers and followers because we've been really getting our name out there, our brand out there, and we have some uh, paid uh, marketing campaigns as well that will boost um, our popularity online as well. So this is a very high quality newsletter. Make sure to subscribe to it. What's good about the newsletter is when you press uh, join and you subscribe to it, you get redirected to our Facebook group. Our Facebook group is called Affiliates Ask Anything has over 6,500 members right now. And if you're an affiliate marketer, join this group because what happens is you can ask any question. Like let's say you have a, you have a question about um, MailChimp or AWeber or one of these ESPs. You can ask your question in the group. Just ask it. And there's over 6,000 affiliates in this group to answer your uh, question. And you, you usually get an answer to your question like instantly. And what's really beneficial about it is even if you don't have a question, you can join the group and see what people are saying and what people are saying to other people's questions. Um, there was a question asked today about, hey, like, what do you think of this affiliate offer? Or what do you think of this affiliate network? And then people go in and they leave their opinions and comments. It's a really valuable group, 100% free. Um, so join that group as well, Affiliates Ask Anything. So guys, this is Peter Day. Um, I'll see you in um, the next video. I have another one I'm going to actually uh, produce in a moment that's going to be really valuable. But in the meantime, subscribe to the channel, uh, opt into our blog, and 
check out our other stuff. And if you're still interested um, in this email marketing stuff and you want to dive deeper into it, I highly recommend this AWeber vs. GetResponse video. It, it does really reveal a few um, ESPs that are friendly towards more of a pure play affiliate model. So check that out, and we will talk soon. All right, guys, talk in the next video. Bye.